Within our world, there exists an alien dimension whose inhabitants possess antennae, wings, and three pairs of walking limbs. We call them insects. To us these creepy crawlies seem rather bizarre, but this is probably because their shape, appearance, and life cycles are so different from our own. For instance, insects have no bones in their bodies. They have a hard external skeleton called an exoskeleton. The parts of the insect body are classified into three sections, head, thorax, and abdomen. The mouth, eyes, and antennae are on the head. The wings and legs are on the thorax. And the heart and digestive system are located in the abdomen. In order for insects to grow to adulthood, they undergo some type of transformation. Many go through the process of complete metamorphosis. In this process, the eggs are laid and eventually hatch into larvae. Grubs and caterpillars are examples of larvae. A larva grows and molts multiple times before becoming a pupa or chrysalis. And the winged adult will in turn emerge from the pupa. Insects help to pollinate and fertilize flowers. Insects are important participants in the food chain. They are the main food source for many spiders, birds, amphibians, and other creatures. Some insects also aid in the decomposing and recycling of decaying organic matter. In fact, insects comprise a vital part of nearly every ecosystem on the planet. Ants have been attracted to these peonies. You may have heard that ants are responsible for opening the flower buds. But this notion is inaccurate. The ants are here for only one purpose. Peonies possess glands called extrafloral nectarines. These glands secrete sap on the buds. The sap contains sugar, protein, amino acids, and additional nutrients. To the ants, the sweet substance is very desirable. While gathering the sap, the ants do not damage the peonies. Because of their aggressiveness, the ants will actually keep the number of harmful pests low, thus benefiting the peonies. Bumblebees are large, hairy insects. They build colonies with just one queen bee, and they feed on nectar, which they collect and bring back to the nest. Beetles are members of the largest order in Kingdom Animalia, Order Coleoptera. There are more types of beetles than any other type of animal on Earth. 
They come in so many different shapes and sizes. Damselflies and dragonflies are typically found in locations where water is close by. Generally, dragonflies are more active than their damselfly relatives. In the case of damselflies, it is common for the two genders to have different colored bodies. Collectively, butterflies and moths make up about 200,000 species. Butterflies are usually active during the day, whereas most moths are nocturnal. Butterflies and moths consume liquids with a mouth part called a proboscis. Some types of butterflies use their two front legs to clean their eyes. You know as well as I do that I've only shown you a tiny bit of this spectacular world. This all goes to show you how marvelous God is in his wisdom and creativity.